Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. We look at shows, desolate, search, peasants, vassals, minions, meat sacks. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome and good morning. And uh, today I want to go back to uh, Syria and talk about an interesting little event. And these are the kind of stories I, I tend to look for. Uh, I'm not competing against the uh, uber patriots out there and the news hounds. Uh, I like stories like this that uh, really display the complexity and absurdity of uh, all these uh, situations going on geopolitically around the world. Uh, on the surface, uh, it seems like this is the, the adult world, but uh, underneath it, uh, he speaks of a, a, an, in, an immaturity of humanity in general. But uh, anyway, I digress. It's early in the morning. But this story is about uh, ISIS uh, is uh, now trying to infiltrate a, uh, what's called the uh, Yarmouk refugee camp in the Damascus suburbs. And this is four miles outside of uh, Damascus proper. So this is interesting for a number of reasons. We have, of course, ISIS on the very doorsteps of the capital of, uh, of uh, Syria uh, threatening the Assad government. In a, uh, there's about 15 to uh, 20,000 refugees in this camp and uh, they're Palestinian militias. And so the complexity of this situation is the fact that we have ISIS on the doors of the capital, as I mentioned, but also the fact that technically we have Hamas clashing with ISIS here in Syria now because a number of these Palestinian militias who have apparently pushed back the ISIS assault, uh, and these Palestinian militias, uh, many of them are loyal to Hamas. So uh, I, I enjoy this fact because it undermines this uh, propaganda narrative of Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, who talks about the idea that uh, Hamas somehow and ISIS uh, somehow are the same thing and uh, couldn't be further from the truth. And uh, one of the other interesting things about this is that uh, ISIS is collaborating with al-Nusra Front in this area. Uh, so uh, once again, we have al-Nusra Front uh, aligned with al-Qaeda, theoretically, who are clashing with ISIS uh, in the rest of Syria. And yet uh, in this region, uh, we find them collaborating once again. So uh, this also helps to undermine this idea that there are any uh, moderate uh, rebels to speak of and that uh, the flux between ISIS and uh, al-Qaeda will continue uh, to the point where uh, I, I would imagine at some point there will not be al-Qaeda affiliates anymore. They will all be absorbed into uh, ISIS. And um, the other uh, interesting thing about this uh, scenario here, uh, it's another one of those stories uh, that uh, is, has an epic, uh, epic qualities uh, that you just don't hear about in the, uh, the media. This Yarmouk uh, refugee camp, uh, only three years ago, it's been under siege for, for three years. They haven't had any water for the last year. 95% uh, of the people there rely on UN aid. But uh, more interestingly, uh, only uh, four years ago, um, anywhere between, uh, I've seen numbers quoted that are all over the map, but anywhere between 160,000 and 500,000 pe Palestinians lived in this camp before uh, the war. And now there's only 15 to 20,000 left. So virtually an entire city uh, four years ago uh, has been moved. And uh, they were caught between the crossfire between the rebels and government troops, and uh, they left. But, uh, but to get back to uh, the, the, the big picture, of course, we have uh, airstrikes by the U.S., uh, relatively ineffective um, as new ISIS uh, assaults or offenses are launched all over Syria. But uh, also the, the fact that we can have uh, ISIS pushing further and further towards the Syrian capital. And, uh, and it shows that ISIS is continue, still continuing to operate from a position of strength, uh, that the U.S. policy is floundering, and uh, that the, the uh, ISIS are going back to their main goal, uh, which is to, to topple the Assad government. And uh, that's, that's pretty interesting in itself, that we have, uh, once again, ISIS... Uh, collaborating with al-Qaeda al in some parts of the country, clashing with al-Qaeda in some parts of the country, and ISIS being the only ones who are keeping their eye on the ball of, of taking the Assad government down. So that helps uh, feed into 
uh, those who believe that the U.S. and Israel and Saudi Arabia are uh, supportive of ISIS um, because that the fact that the, the only people uh, 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 taking down the Assad government right now are the very uh, demons that the United States is uh, fighting. And uh, But uh, this is, uh, like I say, this is an interesting development, uh, particularly in light of the fact that the most recent story is that Palestinian militias have uh, fought back against ISIS and pushed them out of this camp for the time being. But uh, there you have it. A nice little interesting historical uh, uh, factoid that we now have Hamas uh, fighting against ISIS in Syria. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.